Y'all, this is going to be so good. Asking strangers if they're going to heaven or if they're going to hell. Now, let's start with the challenge. And I want everyone, if you're listening or if you're watching, participate in this challenge. Really simple challenge. Answer this question. Are you going to heaven or are you going to hell? But look, that's not even the challenge because I'm assuming if you are a believer, you're going to say heaven. The challenge is... Did you have any level of hesitation when you answered that question? Any level. Did you have any level, even the slightest bit of hesitation when you answered that question? If you did, and if you're bold, go in the comments and say, yes, I I had hesitation. And let's have a conversation about it. Let's talk about it because... We're living in some very confusing times and the devil's objective is to get you to not believe in God so that you can be in hell for all of eternity with him. That's the devil's objective is to pull you away from God. And the Bible says during the last days, there will be a great falling away. And depending on how you interpret that, that could mean that Some people that you go to church with right now, they might not make it to heaven. And we need to address that. We need to make sure that everybody is strong in their faith right now, especially with all the wickedness that is going on right now. So if you said, yes, I had some hesitation, I want you to take that to God and ask God to help you work out that hesitation and ask God to help increase your faith right now in this moment. Because as the body of Christ, we cannot afford to be lacking when it comes to faith. There's too much on the line. Our family members, our children, our friends, the people we love, their souls are on the line. And we need to make sure that we are filled up and that we understand that we are children of God, not because anything that we can do but because of everything that Jesus did on the cross, all right? Anyway, let me stop preaching. (laughs) Let me just get into this video. Uh, Shout out to Hannah Williamson. This is from her channel. I'll link her channel down below in the the description. And I want you to not just watch this video, but go to her channel and watch more videos on her channel and support her channel as well because we need more Christian content creators who are putting out really good content And she's one of those people. She's putting out great content and she's Christian. There's so much filth on the internet. We need more people like this putting out a great message. All right, so go support her channel. Link is in in the description. Let's get into this video. I know y'all are tired of hearing me talking. Uh, So let's go, let's get into it. Question of the day is, when you die, do you think you're gonna go to heaven or hell? (laughs) Good question. That's that hesitation I was talking about. (laughs) That's that hesitation I was talking about. Do not be a hesitator. Do not be a hesitator. You go into heaven. If you have faith in Jesus, that is. If you have faith in Jesus. If you have faith in the finished work on the cross. But let's see what she's going to say. I think I will go to heaven. I I don't think I've done something that bad in my life that I would go to hell. I also think that like people that go to hell are only the ones that actually did like murders and stuff like that i don't think like for doing simple sin means i'm going to hell so i think yo i you know what i respect that answer so much because that's a very honest answer and that's the 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 answer that probably the majority of people are going to say at least excuse me the majority of people who don't know god And that's the answer that the devil wants you to have. That's the same exact perspective that the devil would love for all of us to have. Is to automatically think that just by default, we are good people and that we're going to heaven. And as long as we don't just mess up uh, uh, bad, as long as we don't kill somebody, as long as we don't, we don't, you know, do that type of sin, then we're good. But if we stay away from that type of sin, Whatever, you know, that sin is that that the devil has planted into your head that you think is the, you know, the, the baddest sin. As long as we stay away from that, then we're good. 
and we're going to heaven. I respect that answer because it's an honest answer. Now, it's a lie. You're going to hell if you don't have your faith in Jesus. And I don't like saying that because I'm not the type of dude. I'm not like the you're going to hell type of guy. But in this case, you are going to hell because you think that you are somehow by default righteous and good, not understanding the, the, the holiness and the standard of righteousness and perfection that God has and that God is. I feel like I'm preaching too much. I just got back from church. I just got back from church. That's why I'm preaching so much. Anyway, let's continue. Everybody will be going to heaven, hopefully. Okay, you? Um, I think I'm going to go to heaven, and I think everyone personally will go to heaven. Uh, you just have to make amends with God. Yes. God will always forgive you for everything. So if you did commit any sins in your life, I think God will be very forgetful of them, and we'll all go to heaven, hopefully. That's so interesting. God, God can forgive. That's absolutely, that's correct. God can forgive. But don't wait until you die to ask for forgiveness, because at that point, it's no longer free will. If you wait until you pass away and then you realize, oh, snap. Heaven is real. Hell is real. I don't want to go to hell. So let me go ask God. God, can you forgive me, please? God going to be like, you're asking now, like if you why, why are you asking now? You had all this time on Earth to get right with me, to know me, to repent, to put your faith in my son who I sent. You had all that time. And now, since you can see it, that it's real, now you want to ask for forgiveness. It don't work that way. Don't wait until you die to ask for forgiveness. Don't wait until you die to find out that God is real. Figure that out right now here on earth. Yeah, the Bible says that he is a very loving and forgiving God. He says that if you repent, he'll forgive your sins as far as the east is from the west. But what do you think about people who don't repent of their sins? I don't think they're going to go to hell. I think God has another plan for them. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's a good answer. I think, yeah, like, I think they would have to get to a level after death where they have to pass and then they'll um, go to heaven, but I don't think they'll go right away to heaven. Oh, gosh. That's scary. She said, I think they would go. She said, after they die, I think that they would go to a different level. So somewhere in between heaven or hell to get right. And then once they get right, then they'll go to heaven. I feel like that's theology in, 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 in a different religion. Maybe one of y'all can put that in the comments to let me know what what religion believes that. But that's absolutely false. I want to know. I'm here. I, I don't know. I got to I got to watch the end of this video because I want to know, did she go back and did she talk to these people and did she make sure that they know the gospel? Because at this point, they're going to hell. And like, I just I'm, I'm curious. Anyway, let's continue think they would have to get to a level after death where they have to pass and then they'll um go to heaven but i don't think they'll go right away to heaven when you die do you think you're going to go to heaven or hell heaven 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 yeah. not believe in heaven yeah I'm, I'm going to heaven oh you believe you're going to heaven yeah. i got you how about you i'm going to heaven 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 all right why do you think you're going to go to heaven? Because I'm a good person and I know I have a lot of sins, but I, I'll make sure I clean those sins. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know how to clean your sins? Take a shower and clean yourself and then go to church and then pray a lot. There you do. Hey, there you go. Take care of yourself. Do you know Jesus personally? No, but I know it's me. Bruh, you ain't going to heaven. You not going to heaven. You not, you're not Jesus. He said, she said, do you know Jesus personally? He said, F no, but I know it's me. You, I'm sorry, sir. You're not going to heaven. With that mindset, with that perspective, it's just not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I feel like so many people think like this. Not to this extreme. This is an extreme point. You think you're God. You're insane. You you're literally insane. You you think you're God. But I feel like a lot of people think that, hey, I'm just I'm a good person. I ain't do nothing. I'm a good person. That's exactly what the devil wants you to think. He wants you to be prideful. He wants to, he wants you to be arrogant. He wants your chest to be puffed up because then you believe that you don't need God. And then you believe that the choice 
is solely in your hands. And in a sense, I guess the, the choice is in our hand. We all have the choice to put our faith in Jesus or not. But God created that choice in the first place. By his grace and through his love. Anyway, let's let's see what they're going to say. So do you think you go to um, heaven by your own works, basically, kind of? I feel like if you just believe. Because there's a lot of people that just walk around, don't believe Jesus and God and everything. And they just. They're going to hell. I don't I don't I don't understand, but it's fine. Everybody believes what they want to believe. Yeah. I'm so confused. Why does this do remind me of Lil Uzi Vert? I'm so confused. Does he believe in Jesus or not? Because he, he said, if you just believe, but then earlier he said that he was Jesus and that he's a good person. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Yeah. Have you ever like read the Bible or like, do you pray? No, I pray though. I want to read the Bible. I've been talking to myself. It's fine. I want to read the Bible. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I figured it out. He ain't going. Sir, you're not going. I'm sorry. I want to know. Did, do you think she comes back and, and and shares the gospel with them? I want to know. Let's 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 find out. Let me just stop talking. I'm excited. Sorry, I came back from church. I had some coffee. You know, church be having the coffee and the donuts. I had a little too much. I'm excited. All right, let's continue. I'm going to. I pray though. Of course, I pray. I, I like this. Y'all about to check me out. I ain't even gonna save my YouTube channel. It's fine. Y'all just gonna see me. He said I got a YouTube channel and everything. Yeah. When you die, do you think that you're gonna go to heaven or hell? Um, well, I'm not really um, religious, so I don't know. I think I'll go to heaven. <laughs> heaven. <laughs> Why do you think that you would go to heaven? <laughs> I got it's saved bad. when I was yeah. seven. I, I got saved as well. <laughs> okay. So, do you know what it means to be, like, what, in your words, like, what is it to be saved? <laughs> um, I don't know. That's all of you guys. <laughs> she said, I'm out. I've been meaning about it, but, like, I don't know how to, like, explain it. Yeah. When you die, do you think... If you don't know how to explain it, you're probably not saved. If you don't know how to explain the gospel, you're probably not saved. How can I'm just saying I'm am I, am I wrong for saying that? If you can't explain it, you're probably not saved. I think you're going to go to heaven or hell? Heaven. Heaven? Why do you think you're going to go to heaven? I don't think I've done anything bad enough to go to hell yet. I mean, yet I might end up there. <laughs> What? I don't know. I just made Hannah come into the Squishmables store, and I'm usually not like that girl, but then I was like, you know how much I want? Can, like, I just need somebody to buy this for me. How much is he? I don't know. I haven't checked the prices on anything here yet, so I'm just. What would you name him? <gasps> it's $26 for that little guy. $26? No wonder boyfriends are broke because, like, they have to buy stuff like that for their girls to make them happy. It's like, he doesn't love me if he doesn't buy me a Squishmable. It's, it's, it's a squishable. It's That's squishable. what it, I call it squishable. It should be squishmables. Here, show them the sign. Squishable. 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 Broccoli. All right, guys, we gotta keep going. Let's go. All right, guys, what are your names? I'm Pete. John. Comfort. It is. N Wait, what was that again? Comfort. Comfort? That's cool. I like that. Nice names. All right. Nice to meet you. My name is Hannah, and we're asking one question today. If you don't know how to answer, it's totally fine. But the question is, do you think when you die, are you going to go to heaven or hell? Uh, heaven. Heaven? Yes. Heaven. Heaven. Oh! So why you I like the non-hesitation. All right. Let's see. Let's see why. Let's see why. You guys think that you're going to go to heaven? Because I feel like my relationship with God is just constantly improving. And at that point, I feel like by the time I'm ready, I'll be in heaven. That's awesome. I make sure I confess my sins every day and I feel good that night. That's awesome. I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Therefore, if I try to perfect my life and try to, you know, uh, study the Bible, and get my fact my facts right i might go to heaven yeah bro it, 
the last dude basically almost had it. I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. You put your faith in Jesus. That's it. There's nothing else that we can do. There's nothing else that we can do. What, like, honestly, think about it. What else can we do to earn our way into heaven? We already sinned. We already fell short. There's nothing that we can do to play catch up, to cover up our sins, ourself. It's only through the blood of Jesus. It's only through our faith in Jesus, in him alone. That's it. That's it. That's cool. So you, are you guys Christians then? That's really cool. So you believe in Jesus. That is awesome. All right, come on. All High right. five. Let's go. Let's go. Praise God. All right. So what's your guys' names? Clayton. Clayton? Cameron. Cameron? All right, I'm here with Clayton and Cameron. Guys, when you die, do you think you're going to go to heaven or hell? Heaven. Heaven? Going to heaven, yeah. Going to heaven? So why do you think you're going to heaven? I'm saved already yeah i'm saved already you're saved that's awesome so are you guys christians yes that's awesome so you believe jesus is the only way yes yeah that is really cool praise god when did you guys get saved senior year of college senior, senior year of college fifth year of high school that is really cool did you guys go to church anywhere yeah crossroads a uh, one question of the day hey. again if you don't know shout out to them i mean that is it's really that simple if you're a christian like do you have faith or not it's just, it's very simple it's very simple it's very simple. In my opinion, maybe y'all might not think it's that simple, but it God has made it so simple for us. God has made it simple for us. Hey. That's just me. Totally fine. We've gotten all kinds of responses today. When you die, do you think you're going to go to heaven or hell? I'm going to go to heaven. Heaven? Why do you think you're going to go to heaven? Because I believe that God is my savior. Mm. And I believe that Jesus died on the cross. Bro, that's it! That's it. It took literally, I don't know how old this girl is, but she looks young. It took a, a, a child, it took a child to explain it to y'all. That's why, yo, they say have childlike faith. Because we, we be just overcomplicating things. God is like, yo, just be like the, the, the children. Just have childlike faith. Put your faith in me. You're good. Man. All right. Awesome. That is sweet. So you guys are you Christian? Yes. Yes. That is awesome. All right. She is. Bye. Oh, bruh. We should have just like, yeah. Okay, this is giving hope. We said, I'm ready. He was like, let's go. Some people are kind of nervous. Okay, what's your name? I'm Matthew. Matthew, nice. Okay, so question for the day is, do you believe that when you die, you're going to go to heaven or hell? I'd like to think that uh, I would go to heaven, but uh, if like I, I'm, I'm like a flawed human being like everyone. So uh, you, there's still time to put the work and make sure that you do your very best to try to make it to heaven. That's, that's what you want in the end. If you think that you were going to go to heaven or think that you should, why? Or why do you think, what, what do you think gets you to heaven? Ooh, it's just doing whatever you can to try to help others, really. Uh, I'm, sometimes I'm not the best at that, but uh, just constantly trying to put the work in again, like I said, just always help others, really. That's, that's, that's how I try to live my life. All right, so let's start off. What's your guys' names? I'm Keith. Keith? Carrington. C Carrington, right? I love that name. All right, so question of the day. If you don't know, totally fine. Okay. Got all different responses today, so chill. And the question is, it, when you die, do you think you're going to go to heaven or hell? Oh, I believe I'm going to heaven. Heaven? Heaven. Heaven. And why do you guys believe that? Uh, I believe in uh, I believe in the afterlife. Okay. I believe it's a higher power. Okay. And I think we go somewhere when it's time to go. <laughs> Got it. You? I don't really know. Yeah? What do you think, like, the higher power is? Uh, God. God? Okay. Nice. And then what do you think if you were to get to heaven would basically make the way for you to go? What you mean? So if you thought that you were going to go to heaven after you die, what do you, why do you think that you're going? I hope because I'm a good person. <laughs> that's, that's like the number one response. And I think it's so interesting that that's the number one response because are we really that good? Like, ask yourself, are we really that good? I'm a believer. I believe in Jesus Christ. I try to 
model my life after the teachings of Jesus and I fall short all the time. I'm still struggling with stuff. Are we really that good, though? If you really were honest with yourself and you're really not that good, though. Okay, so that aside, now that we have determined that you're really not that good, now what is going to get you into heaven? Now what are you going to do? That's the real question. Now what are you going to do? Now that we have figured out that you're really not a good person, now what are you going to do? Now how are you going to get in? It's only through Jesus. It's only through Jesus. Do you believe when you die you're going to go to heaven or hell? Heaven. Heaven. Why do you believe that? I don't know. I'm still learning the religion. Do you like believe in an afterlife at all or no? Yeah. Yeah? In heaven, yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Any, do you believe like in a higher power at all? What do you mean higher power? So like if someone like created the earth or we're just like here by like... Like this earth? Yeah. No. You don't believe anyone? No. What? Okay. You mean like paradise, like heaven? Yeah. Yeah, I've been doing that. Like work no, out? We just left the gym. Real? Okay, that's I just about to say. I was like, you guys look like... I'm so yeah. sweaty. No, yeah. all good. So, one question of the day. If you don't know what to answer, we have all different kinds of thoughts today from this question. So, when you die, do you believe that you're going to go to heaven or hell? I'm going to heaven. Going to heaven. Heaven. And why do you believe that? Because Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, and it's in my heart, so... Awesome. Thanks. I'm blessed and highly favored. Nice. Oh God, Why do you think that you get into heaven? Ooh, this is a I good, see. yeah, that's a good question on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know it is on the spot. Into heaven. I think it's your relationship with God and having um, a faith, Erica. Um, what does happen to you? <laughs> right. I think it's, I think. Yeah, getting into heaven has a lot to do with your relationship with Jesus Christ and how you walk through life. So Yeah, absolutely. Any I, I totally agree. You know, like, it's about your relationship and uh what you wanna do and how you feel about it and who you telling about it. So Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Absolutely. So yeah, I agree. Relationship with Jesus, personal relationship with him because he gives us all free will hmm. to live without him or with him because he loves all of us. Amen. So you can either live with him and accept him or you can reject him. So either way, and if you live with him, it's a privilege to get to live with eternity in heaven with him. And he says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments, have relationship with yes. him, confess that he is Lord. Yes. So yeah, you guys have some good thoughts. I love it. I love it. We love this that's response. Right. That's actually what you just spoke about is in, in Matthew. Yes, in Matthew yeah. seven twenty four through 27. That's what my brand is about. No way. Okay. That yeah, to have awesome. your foundation firmly on the rock or... Unshakable. On, yeah. I love so that. foundation on the rock yes. or on the sand. That is Storms great. Will always come. I love it. I love yeah, it. All right. right. That's what you you're guys, talking about. Oh, hey. When you die, do you think you're going to go to heaven or hell? I think I'm going to go to heaven. Why do you think that? Because I've placed my faith in Jesus Christ. Bro, what? that's the that's the answer. How many answers? It, it took so long. It took so long. It took so long. That's the answer. Let's go. All right. Amen. Come on. That is amazing. When did you become a Christian or when did you give your life to Jesus? Um, I was raised in a Christian home, but I made the choice for myself to follow Christ when I was like hmm, 14. Wow, that's amazing. Praise God. Well, high five. Thank you. Thank you so much for being on. I just moved here. So No way. From where? From Detroit. Detroit. So we don't have Chick-fil-A. So when I moved here, I had Chick-fil-A for the first time like two months ago. I was eating Chick-fil-A for like two weeks straight. Yeah. It's like, yeah, let me try to grill. Let me try to grill chicken nuggets. Let me try to, to chicken chicken. Literally. Let me try to salad. So Dude. I'll try to everything on the menu, but yeah. I understand. I bet that was an experience of life. Yeah, it definitely was. Wow. Somebody told me it was overrated. That was a lie. It is a lie. That was a lie. Yeah. All right. Question is, after we got the important stuff there. <laughs> when you die, do you think that you are going to go to heaven or hell? Well, based upon what I'm doing now, I'm studying to be a minister. So hopefully we make it. I make it to heaven. Hopefully I make it into heaven. Okay. Same way, you should be a little more confident if you're studying to be a minister. I'm not taking shots. I'm just saying. You should be a little more. It's, you put your faith in Jesus. I'm going to heaven. 
Let's continue. Like, yeah, you're for sure you're going to do it. It's, you know, people make it by the skin of their teeth. So yeah. I hope I make it. Here. And why do you think that you would make it to heaven if you did? Because I'm doing the right thing, spreading the gospel, letting people know, you know, why Jesus died for us on the cross. The, the sins that, you know, he's taken away from us by doing the act that he did that was ever so generous. Yeah. So yep. I think that's why. He loved us first even when we didn't love him. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Well, I love that. You're spreading the gospel, studying becoming a minister. Give you some encouragement. I, that's awesome. And always faith and trust in him. Everything without him is pointless. He is our purpose in life. He is everything. I love that. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Whoa. See you. Yes. In heaven. Well. Yes. In heaven. Yes. All right, guys. We're back in the studio now. And I'm going to respond to those videos. That was a fun time that we had out in the mall getting to have those conversations. Okay. Shout out to Hannah. Uh, Y'all can finish the video on her page if you would like. I just realized it's kind of dark. Is it dark? Let me turn the light up. Hold on. Did it die? No, we're straight. I don't know. Anyway. um, It makes you think. It makes you think. How many people who consider themselves believers, how many of those people do you think actually believe in a false gospel in their hearts it really makes you think and depending on who you talk to they would say that i believe in a false gospel depending on who you talk to there's people who think that there's additional work that needs to be done on our part in order to be saved but the bible is very clear put your faith in him there's nothing that we can do to earn it. God became man in order to save us. He died on the cross. He shed his perfect blood as an atonement for us. And whoever shall believe in Jesus Christ shall be saved. There's nothing else that we can do. Let me know what y'all think. Um, Get in my comments, like this video, go to Hannah's page, subscribe to her, watch her videos. I'm out.